So we found another puddle pigeon. Yeah, a creek roach, a river goat. And her name is Brianna. So y'all see right here, a straight ant fly, a air wasp. You know what I'm saying? Just back in March, had what you would call a divorce party. Yes, divorce party. Promoted it, look at the cake, made flyers, 80s theme. I mean, turned up that. But let's get with the truth. Before Came the truth. on the internet, blew up content. You know, Latrus, that guy broke up, messy divorce. She is here back in March, as you can see, lit, turned up, living it all the way up. And now she is out in the streets, back out in these streets. These is for the 304 sand slobs that will complain about men, but they let these men run all through them without any protection. And they haven't even been out of a previous situation no more than 90 days to 100 days before they jump into the new situation and he don't even want it but let's just let him explain this crazy situation when you have a child or you have children you want them to come from a structured home you want them to know that they come from something that's stable because if what they come from is not stable how do you expect the kids to be stable and able at all it's not going to happen the do's and the don'ts, the yeses and the no's. What are you going to say no to your kids about if they want to do it? Or what are you going to say no to your kids about if they're asking for certain things? Both parents have to agree on what we're going to say no about and what we're going to say yes about. Um, if two parents are not on the same page when it comes to parenting your children, then it's going to be tug of war. And it's just not going to work. Because the parent that says yes the most is usually going to have the child's attention the most. You understand what I'm talking about? If you're one of those yes parents who, because the parent, the kid comes in there and they got the little sad face because they asked for something and then they started pouting because you said no and you be like, you feel bad because they said no. And listen, both parents have to get on the same page when you're parenting your children. It can't be no, you said yes and this person said no. If I said no to you already and you go to the mama, the mama should be saying, what did your daddy tell you? What your daddy tell you? He said no, right? I'm saying no too. Vice versa. Both parents have to agree so the kid knows. Once they hear no, they know that it is no. They know they can't go over here to this parent and get yes. You dig what I'm saying? Now, once you establish that, people, now you got some boundaries in place. Now your kid know that they can't pull no games or run no games on nobody. It don't matter what excuse they come up with. They know the answer is no from both parents. I mean, the parents are the bosses. The parents gave life. And the parents should want the best for their children. So no matter how the feelings on the child may be hurt, you have to still stand your ground as parents and you both agree that you said no. Now, if y'all both said yes, have a party. That's cool. It's nothing wrong with it. If it's something y'all both decided that your child can do and it's for the betterment of your child's health, safety, and everything, because first and foremost, when you become a parent, you become a protector. You become a provider. You become a nurturer. You have a child that you, your responsibility is your child and the betterment of your child should always be your top focus. You understand what I'm talking about? That's as a mother, that's as a father. Now, when you start seeing these situations start going left, and you start seeing a, a kid start to act out of control, it's usually because now these parents are bumping heads with the decision making. You are the parents. There's no way you should be bumping heads at the decision making. Why are you changing the structure that you've already came together to put in place and plan? 
What is going on mentally that's causing you to say, now you're saying yes when you know you should have been saying no. The whole objective is to protect your child and help your child become the best version of themselves possible. If you stop taking birth control unbeknownst to the other person that you're in a relationship with, that's considered trapping. Okay, granted. Granted, do I think we're ready for a baby? No. Do I think we got much more to learn about each other? Yes. Am I ready for a baby? No. But she did not trap me. Yes, we have talked about having a child together. Yes. When the feelings come in and, you know, you feel a certain type of way. Everybody yes. find it cool to have kids, but don't nobody find it cool in knowing how to correctly parent? Make it make sense. Uh -uh. Too long, man. Y'all can't be that damn stupid. Y'all can't be that damn stupid. If it's not about a blessing, I Tay would never address it. And that's on period. Boo. <laughs>
I'm good. You again. But you already showed me that you wasn't my friend, so we reward loyalty with loyalty, and we reward this loyalty with distance. I forgive you, but I ain't about to forget and be but naive. Nope. You didn't want to. It felt good, right? Yeah. So shut up. We don't want to hear it. You worse than her, because you could have kept your soldiers in order. But instead, you let your soldiers run out on the front line and get the dumping and bussing. Yeah, so shut up. We don't want to hear it. Want to learn about each other? Yes. Do I think we got much more to learn about each other? Yes. Am I ready for a baby? No. But. Really need to pray. Okay? Does he need a child right now? No. See, he was playing house. Okay? She put it on camera. It's official. Use a daddy, Jarnell. You got to get yourself together. Um, You need to uh, play in some more biopic, sir. Okay? Yeah, we can't just be living off of social media. I know she making that moolah. But what is he doing? Okay? She might as well say she having twins. Because she going to have to take care of that new baby and him. Mm-hmm, that's all, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, this is, I don't know how to feel. How do you guys feel about this? I mean, it's great that she's, you know, you know, when people bring life in the world, that's a blessing. But the baby's going to come into all this rigmarole. It's going to have a dirt. La, 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 lattes were a, 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 la, 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 lattes were a, 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 let's get into it, baby. Okay, it's your girl Tay with the T, and you know you about to get these sips from me, honey. So let's get right into it, all right? Now, the T has been brewing in the streets about this Brianna battle and John L. X baby, right? This baby situation has been nothing but the talk of the town. Some people feel like this man has been trapped. Some people feel that he's exactly where he needs to be at. But for me, for me. I think there needs to be some type of guidance instilled, baby. I don't know if you've seen the video that Latruth did as far as parenting, but a lot of parents like lack guidance. Lacking guidance can be detrimental or very traumatic to your children. Because if you lack guidance, how can you give guidance? And we see the type of guidance that was instilled into these human bodies right so now these is the two bodies that let guidance that they are now bringing another human being into this world what type of morals or stability is they supposed to be able to pour into this baby if they wasn't given those qualities within those selves now it's all right to like a person it's all right to even how can i say um agree with the person right but how can you like or agree with the things that you see when they're coming from a able sound minded person baby it's not something that's being forced or it's not a person that's being pushed down this course it's someone that's doing these things by their own choice and they own accords and it just seems very negligent to the people that's involved with which is the children Okay, because you need to be able to give the attention that, that you have left to the children that you already have in the situation. And I don't want nobody to take this wrong because babies is a blessing. Babies are a blessing. So I'm going to repeat that for the people in the back. Babies are a blessing. But for babies to be able to be handled in a blessed way, it starts with the parents, baby. And the parents ain't really acting too blessed. What they're doing is keeping up a whole lot of mess. You have to be able to pour something other than what we've seen into this human being. Because if it already affected the ones that's here, um, I can only imagine the one that's coming. Okay, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. And it's just sad for someone to have to lose an eye for the fun and games to be over. These are people lives that we are discussing, which means they are actual human beings that are living, breathing, and going through these actual things. Now, for me, I don't want people to ever get it twisted, and I hate that people put the title as hating. You cannot hate on a situation you would not want. I would not want my life to be spurled out all over the internet in this type of effect. 
that's not something to hate on. But if you're trying to advise someone and help them to get to what's next, because your journey is supposed to be what's important. Everything else is an extra. The men, the social media platform, mental health is mental wealth. And when you see a person more, more than commonly more than commonly making bad decisions, they're not mentally healthy. And we see signs of Brie in multiple cases where she was not mentally healthy because she did not mentally heal. Rejection is a big thing. And when you've been left in every relationship that you've been in, then that means that you have a bad problem with dealing with, re with, with rejection. Some people have relationship PTSD. That's really a thing where they take their traumas from one relationship and impose it onto another human being or enforce it onto another human being or entrap that situation into the situation with the human being that they are currently in where that's not even where the trauma began. Okay? They're just a part of it at this point. Listen, y'all. I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. I hope for the best. Because in order to be blessed, you have to wish the best for others. Because what you throw out into the ear will definitely spin back and come back for you. And I would never want to put something out in the ear for somebody else that I would not want for me. So the only thing that I'm hoping for in this situation is as we travel and watch this journey because you know tay gonna bring you the tape tay is going to bring you the tape right okay now with that being said we hope that we just start to see some changes because everybody has a chance to change where you start ain't got to be where you end. And that's up to you to want that, my friend. If you're going to continue to do the same things, you will continue to get the same outcomes. And it starts to make you look like a repeated offender. You know, example A, example B, example C, right? It starts to make you look like a repeat offender. But when you start to learn where you went wrong, then you can possibly start to make things right. Now, I'm rooting for you. If you can turn what you've turned out into a better situation, and I believe that you can. It has to start from somewhere and just hopefully not here. Because what we see is things traveling down a bad road, baby. So I hope and I pray that the baby can bring some common sense into this situation other than what we've seen. And I'm not saying that um, <clears throat> it's definitely going to happen. No, because this person has children already. This person don't. It may put maturity into one where in another person it won't. So we're just going to have to stay and see how these things turn. Oh, I lost a nail, y'all. I lost a nail, too. Right. We're just going to have to stay and see how these situations turn out for these two after baby. Okay? But when you have good spirits and you want the best for people... You do nothing but wish the best for people. So even though this situation seems so dark, I hope at the end of it, we start to see some light. And I just want to give like a round of applause for the truth because he does be speaking the truth. And sometimes people don't like to hear when another person is um, speaking in terms that may relate to you. Because if something reminds you of you, then when a person is speaking, you're going to feel like they're reading you. No. Um, he's just speaking in general, not to one person or um, one particular situation. He's speaking of a whole generation of women that is stricken with this same disease, which is considered to be bitter, baby. And um, being bitter in situations, 
don't do nothing but make situations turn out bitter. And that's why we see the bitterness in these situations that we see. But the truth is trying to bring light to the situations to try to get these women to get some type of understanding. Like, listen, you might hate the man. You might not like the man. You might not want the man. Things might not have worked out with the man. But it's supposed to be for the betterment of the children. And if you could put your feelings to the side as an adult, to let the children actually have the life that you felt that your children should have. I would hope every adult would have that in mind. Then you can put your adult emotions to the side. Because once you're no longer in a relationship with the other extension, you don't have to give a shit what's going on with them past the child. That should be the only thing that should be important in that situation now. So the things that they do should not bother you unless you still have feelings, boo. But anyway, this is your girl Tay. And you know I'm going to do my thing and bring you these sips, baby. I'm going to continue to cook and pass these plates out. Much respect to the other content creators that's given the layout. Boop. Boop. Make sure you hit that like button, okay? You know you got to like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep your girl alive. What? You know who I be? It's your girl Tay with the T. Hit that like button, baby. Don't play with me. If you're not a subscriber, please become a subscriber. Friend, the button is right there. The button is right there. Hit the button, friend. And I hope that you return again. This is your girl, Tay. And you already know how this go. I am out. This is Tay with Tay. Hit the like button. Please don't play.